button if I don't change the numbers. Okay, in this video, we'll finally finish our web crawler. I know you didn't sleep in the last 20 nights because you were eager to finish it, so let's go. It's the last effort. The code so far, this is the code that we have built, I have updated it with the exercise I ask. So I have updated it with a skip and equal, visit the ashes, so it checks whether you visit the same page or not. Okay. Our last effort. So until now, what our crawler does, to you probably seems worthless. It just takes the links out of web pages and searches other web pages. Yeah, in fact, that is not something a human will appreciate, but the computer appreciates it. Let's do the last little step, which is indexing the content. Each web page displays words which human can read. And I would like now to build a a structure in which uh, to each word uh, you find associated all the links in which that word is found. Guess it will be a dictionary, obviously. Um, so, first of all, we have to get the words out of the web page. Unfortunately, web pages are full of tags. What is a tag? Well, let's take one of my web pages, for example, the test web pages, I mean. Test. Okay, this is the test web page. I have to move myself. Okay, whoop. But I'm covering. Hey, I'm here below. Okay. Uh, developer tools. I have to. Move. I'm always in the middle. Okay. Uh, why on the Mac must be different than on Windows? Sources probably. Okay, this is the web page. Can you see it's full of this blue thing, uh, which are the tags. It's literally full. This my, I build a clean HTML code, but most websites are not so clean, so they're full of this code. These are not words that a human is interested. A human is not interested in H1, in slash body, in uh, slash title. Okay, so a human will not like this thing here. So we have to build a little program which removes everything starting from this symbol here and going up to this symbol here. Or better, we'll build a function which goes, which takes the web page and returns the web page but without these things here. Okay, in the meantime, the bells are ringing because, okay, it's time to go to the mess. But I will stay here instead. Okay, so def remove tags s column okay what does this uh, function do this function takes a string which is a complete web page you can imagine and removes or better creates another string which is the same but without the tags so this is the string that we will create i have a while loop on all the letters on all the characters while i smaller than len of s okay now um, first thing for if uh, s of uh, i is not uh, this character here in this case i will append it to r r equal r plus s I'm sure there are more efficient ways, but this one is fine. Otherwise, now it means that now currently I is on one of these characters. I will have to go on until I find the closing character. So, how do I go on? Well, while I is smaller than the length of S. This must always be here, just in case the, the page ends suddenly. And S of i is different from the closing i equal i plus one so this loop uh, simply goes on so increments the i until either it reaches the end of the page which it means that the web page was very badly written or it reaches the the symbol here so at this point at this point we are exactly on the op, op, character 
okay okay in both cases I have to go a step forward here because I have already used SI here because I am on a character which is not interesting for me so in both cases I have to go a step forward okay seems fine let's see um, a return maybe if I return something return ah. remove tags of uh, Paolo let's put a tag hello let's put a tag close uh, and something else okay ah maybe print okay exactly what I wanted there is a however little little problem sometimes uh, you have uh, things like this so Paolo then a tag and then another word these two words are separated words but if I remove the tag I will have Paolo Hallo can you see Paolo Hallo so whenever I remove a tag as soon as I finish here I would like to insert a space just to avoid this problem uh, so I insert a space here r equal r plus okay I sometimes insert extra spaces because every tag I remove I insert a space it's not a problem you know that split string if written appropriately doesn't care whether you have several spaces um, okay so this is my remove tags okay let's test it on a real web page developer tools developer tools okay copy okay let's put here a real web page okay I have to remove the, the new lines because I have also to enclose by single quotation so there are some little things to do my neighbors are do renovating the house as you can probably hear Sometimes I wonder whether people make noise on purpose. Uh, okay, I must use single quotation, not double. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> Valid syntax. Uh, this thing here. Mm, ta -ta 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 -ta. Seems correct. Why invalid syntax? Ah, because there is a... Hmm. Maybe is it too long to paste? Let's see. S equal value syntax. The value syntax is funny because it's here. Still invalid syntax. Let's remove the last part. Maybe it's simply too long. Value syntax. I swear I tried it before and it was fun. Ah, here. There's a single quote here instead of a double. Ah, damn single quote. Uh, okay. Okay, so print remove tags. Yes. Okay, so you can see you strip all the tags and you keep only the text. Wonderful. Okay, now we have the text. Well, guess what we do? We cut the words because when you search with Google, 
usually you can search also for parts of the text but we don't want to make a complicated search engine we search only for individual words so now we'll cut all the words and we'll cut all the words with a famous split string so we can use remove text together with split split string so first of all i get split string okay now i can split string off remove tags of s and you get the list why ah it's written issue point it's okay and you get the list of all the words that you see fine um very well uh, now this is what's the easy part. Now, for you, as a homework, the final uh, effort. Whenever you find a web page, before you start searching for the links contained inside, you must get the list of all the words contained in the web page. Okay. Then, go through this list, and for each word, put it inside a dictionary. The dictionary uh, will be built in this way. So you will need a dictionary called words, for example. It starts to be empty. Where is Ctrl Alt 8 on the Mac? Okay, it starts as an empty dictionary. You have to go through all these words. Whenever you find for each word, you should check whether that word already exists in the dictionary or not. If it does not exist, you will have to add it to the dictionary as a key. So this way, suppose that X contains the word and with a page address as the corresponding link. Sorry, with a page address as the corresponding list of links. If the word is instead in the list of words, you have to do something similar, append the address. So you have to go through all this list of words. Imagine that X is each one of these words you check whether this word already appears in the dictionary or not. If it is already in the dictionary, it means that there are already some links associated with that word, so some, some pages in which we found that word. In this case, you append to that list the corresponding address of the page in which that word was found. If, you don't, if the words the word doesn't exist in the dictionary words, it means that it's a completely new word, so you should create an entry, okay, and inside as a value, put a list with only one element, the address of the page in which you find it. At the end, I will have in this dictionary all the words as keys, and for each one, a list of all the links of all the pages in which that word is found. Okay, this is your task. It's written, it's written probably in a better way in the exercises. Goodbye. It's finished. After this one, you can burn your code and it's finished.